Hey, good morning guys. Out in the bush setting up trail cameras. Today's video is going to be simple. We're going to do a walkabout of the property, which we haven't done since before deer season, and look for any new structures, signs, things that have changed. We're going to grab the SD card out of the trail camera that had meatballs and chicken in front of it from the last video, and we're going to set up a couple new trail cameras. I'll also venture into where the apples are hanging and see if anything has touched those. There's our apples, mmm, yum. They're pretty rotten. I don't think anything's gonna touch those now, but at this point, it's just an experiment. <laughs> Let's leave them out and see what they look like in a year. Oh, there goes Gage. Chasing a rabbit. Good boy. Good boy. You weren't going to catch him anyway. I know he was white. So we had snow earlier in the season, obviously, and the rabbits are all white. And Gage just chased one right across here. I didn't get the camera going in time, but pure white. So poor buggers. They're having a hard time hiding from foxes and things right now for sure. So there's our trail camera there. And that's where we had the meatballs and chicken. It's gone, so obviously something came and ate it. Let's find out what it was. All right, cameras are set up. We've got the SD card out of that one. It's time to go do some exploring and just see if there's any new sign of creatures crossing through our property. You never know. I don't know, he's sure sniffing something there. I gotta teach him sign language or something, I don't know. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? You got a stick. Yeah, okay. He only speaks one language, this guy. Stick. Ooh, bigger stick. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, I knew I should have went with the bloodhound. Oh, I've had a few labs <laughs> over the course of my life, and they've all been great working dogs. Very easy to train. Uh, especially for retrieving, duck hunting, bird hunting. This guy, he's 90% goof. I don't, there's something different about this guy. He's not stupid. Sometimes you would almost think he's not all there. <laughs> he's very smart. He just, he's goofy. He's like a little kid. I don't know. Uh, gotta love him, I guess. Kinda. <laughs> I don't know, he's definitely on the trail of something today, and he's usually not that gung-ho, but he was chasing the rabbit earlier, so I don't know. I mean, we're quite a ways away, 600 yards away from where that rabbit was. Could be anything, I don't know. I'll just follow him. Let his nose guide us for a little while. We'll probably be walking in circles here for the next 15 minutes. Who knows? Who knows what he'll find, though? He's going, he's on the trail of something. I know I've walked on this deer trail before and I don't remember seeing this down right over the trail. I mean, obviously the animals are walking. You can see the trail right there. Was that there before? I mean, obviously it grew here, sticking out of the ground, but I don't remember. Maybe it just fell over. I'm gonna move it.
so it's not on the trail. And as I'm standing here, I noticed another break that I never noticed before right there. I find it odd when, you know, we're down, that's down seven, eight feet below me, well out of where the wind should be getting it. Actually, there's a whole bunch of, well, look at the, <laughs> uh, there's a whole bunch of them leaning in there. Kind of looks, yeah, like what I've shown you guys many times before. I don't know what to make of these things. They're all over the place. Uh, you know, we've got, I don't know, five of them now, I guess, here uh, on a couple hundred acres. I, I don't know. Is that is that natural? We've been over this. I've asked that question a dozen times. There is no answer. I don't know. I can see deer tracks going right underneath it. <laughs> well, where the leaves are disturbed. I, I know it's deer. You can tell it's a very thin trail, you know, four inches wide. Right, so I don't know why I have to keep saying this. In the last video, I said I felt that the Bigfoot series could end. And let me explain that a little further. Apparently I have to. We're not going to stop going out in the bush and looking. I'm just saying there's something going on here and I don't think it's a physical creature. Okay, that's what I mean by that. I think Bigfoot is a physical creature. I think we're finding something else. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it. Screeches, screams, lights, whistles, uh, weird placement of sticks and things. Now the sticks could be a Bigfoot physical creature leaving a marker of some kind. I don't know. But the things we're capturing on audio and video are not a physical creature. They're all like spiritual thing, forest spirits, paranormal. I don't know. So what I'm saying is we're going to still go out and do this series. We're going to get out here and look. In my head, my expectation is that I'm not going to find a Bigfoot. This is where I'm at, okay? Oh, Gage is barking at something over here. I gotta go find him. But anyway, that's where I'm at with this. We're not gonna find a physical creature, I don't think. We're still gonna get out and try. We're still gonna put out the trail cameras. We're gonna get out here and do adventures. But that's where my mindset is at. I'm pretty convinced I'm not gonna find this freaking creature. And we are gonna travel out into the wild and do you know, trips down old logging roads into new territory and look for structures and things like that. We're not giving up. I'm just saying, I'm trying to let you guys know honestly where my mindset is. And uh, I'm as doubtful as ever that this physical six foot, eight foot creature, 400 pound sucker is here in these woods or comes through these woods or even exists. I don't know. That's, it's the ups and downs of a research, right? You can't tell me that for 30 years, these, some of these great guys, green and well, you know, that uh, they didn't have doubts. Well, I have doubts, people. I have doubts. I found the dog. He came right back. <laughs> I don't know what he was chasing. Um, yeah, so even though I have doubts, we can still look. I still want answers. I still want to know what screamed at me in the bush all those years ago. I want to know what some of the screams and whoops and calls and things that we get on here now. What is that? Uh, the lights, the orbs, the, well, even the EVPs on my security cameras and a couple that we've caught on the camcorder. What is that? I want to know what all of it is. Is it tied together somehow? I don't know. More research required. Guys, certain channels will tell you, I think they're finding the exact same thing we're finding, right? They'll tell you, oh, this is Bigfoot. They're sure. They're certain. I'm not certain. Okay. We don't have any proof that says... You know, they hear a voice in their head. I'm not saying they don't hear a voice in their head. I'm just saying, I don't think it's Bigfoot. I'm open. <laughs> I'm open to anything. Could it be alien? Eh, for sure. Could it be spirits? For sure. I don't know. Could it be Bigfoot? Possibly. I don't know that I'm ever going to get the answer to any of these things I'm looking for, but it doesn't mean we can't have fun trying, right? I figured out what you guys are to me. When I started this YouTube channel, I worked at home, I raised kids at home, uh, I, pfft, I had been out working in the field for 20 years and everything changed, okay? I started working from home and I had nobody to talk to 
I went a little crazy. I went a little uh, Tom Hanks. And I figured out what you guys are to me. You guys are my Wilson. All these years, the last six or seven years, I've been running a YouTube channel. It just hit me the other morning. That's what you guys are. I'm out here in the bush alone. I'm out on scary adventures at night alone. You guys are my Wilson. Well, I'm not really seeing anything standing out. Like a big X in the middle of any of the normal trails I walk or anything. Right now, we're not on any trail. We're just walking through the bush. And, you know, as I've showed you a million times, look at the crap that's on the ground here, right? Pretty hard to identify new things. There could be new things all around me. <laughs> it's just so much of it. But when I do see stuff like this, right here leaning, that draws me over and I always inspect anything new like this. A little mess of stuff here. Sticks leaning on it. Uh, I may have showed you guys this one before. Something tells me we've seen this. Yeah, we've seen this one before. Still odd, still strange. Look at all the loose little sticks here. One, two, three over there, four, five. Five leaning into that, I don't know. How is that natural? You guys tell me, I don't know. All right, before I go full Gary, I want you guys to tell me. I was just, I just had the thought, hey, I'm not seeing anything new. We've come across a couple things I've showed you before. If this is just natural chaos, what's the big harm in tearing it down? Should Gary destroy every one of these little teepee structures and oddities that he comes across and see if we can stir something up? Comment below. And I'm seriously going to tally up the votes and I'll let you guys know in the next video and you'll see if Gary's out here on a destroying mission, it's going to be because you guys voted for it. Okay? We might even set up some of our own little structures. Maybe that's not a good idea. I don't know. Um, that would just confuse other people if somebody came in here and they'd be like, oh, what's that? Right? And I don't want to promote that. Right? I want natural stuff or... I don't know. Should we set up? You guys tell me. What should I do? Uh, now he's over there rolling in something. Come on. Get out of that. Probably turds of some kind if I know my dog. I'd rather he roll in them than eat them. Let's put it that way. And he does both. If you guys, you probably haven't seen the video, but when he was a puppy metal detecting in the spring, I don't know, he was five or six months old. First trip of the spring, we go in and he eats rabbit poop. All over the trail is rabbit poop. And I'm trying to stop him, I can't stop him. He's running everywhere. The poor little guy gets so sick. I mean, violently ill, blah, blah, like three, four times. I put my jacket down with my metal detecting stuff. He curls up on it and he lays there for two, three hours, whimpering, moaning, rolling around, ugh, sore stomach. And I'm like, good, you learned your lesson, right? We're there for five hours. We're walking out the trail. He starts eating rabbit poop again. You, I'm telling you, there's no training in this guy. There's no, he just doesn't learn. I don't know. All kidding aside, I love my dog. I wouldn't trade him. He's actually, for being not even two, he'll be two in January, he's settled down quite a bit. Um, I can't complain. He's very well trained. He does come back. You guys saw that earlier, chasing the rabbit, and came right back when I whistled. So uh, he follows the dirt bike down the road. He heals. He does voice commands, hand signals. Gage. Well, he's chewing on sticks. He ain't going to listen to me right now. <laughs> but by the time this guy's four, he is going to be the dog I want. Yeah, two more years. Hey, come here. Hey, no, you're not there yet, but someday.
I've got trail cameras out of Dad's. I need to go get those and see what's on there. Maybe we'll take a day, go find some old logging roads out behind his place, and we'll make a day of it. We'll go get those other cameras, and then we'll just go for a hike out there somewhere. So stay tuned, guys. We're going to get back out in the bush this week, okay? Thanks for watching.